Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I'd like to welcome you here. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to hit the red subscribe button along with the notification bell right next to that. Then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So today I'm continuing with my A to Z technique book. I am having a ball with this. I hope you're um, enjoying it. I know I've been getting a lot of positive responses, which um, because of that, I've been uploading a lot of new techniques. Um, it makes me really happy to, to read your comments, and I do read every single comment that's posted, and I do try, I mean, I can't say 99.9%, .9 I do respond to your comments. And being that you are all loving this so much, that makes me so happy. And there's Dory, she's happy too. And I just want to keep bringing you more and more and more. So um, by you subscribing, liking, and watching all my videos, sharing, and giving me thumbs up, that helps me to continue to create more videos. And if you're interested in purchasing any product, I really would appreciate that. You can order right through my online store at www.stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. So, with all of that being said, let's move on. Okay, Dory, come on. Oh. <laughs> Had to have her out of the way a little bit. Let's move on to our next technique. Now, this one is called inset embossing. So, here's what you're going to do for this. You're going to punch, hand cut, or die cut shapes. Glue them onto the cardstock using flexible glue such as Tombow Multi Glue. And this is our Tombow Multi Glue. Place cardstock into an embossing folder that has a tight pattern. The punch designs embed or inset into the card. So let me show you this fun card that I did. Isn't that fun? Now, um, I do want to recommend, I did have a little bit of a play with this. And I used our um, embossing folder. Let's see, where do I have that? Thought I had it nearby here. Mm -mm, I don't. Um, but this is the celebration one, and you can see you don't want to use an embossing folder that is the extra thick ones because what happens is it kind of takes away. I mean, you really can't even see. I mean, barely see here or there. The little bunny ears but um, you can kind of see it more in person just not showing up on camera I'm not even sure if you can see it at all so do not use the extra thick embossing folders and I realize a lot of my folders that I had were those type so um, the one that I used was this one here and you probably would want to use something a little bit tighter but this worked for me this is the oh my stars textured impressions embossing folder and this is one of the thinner ones, so you don't want to use those extra thick ones because it embosses too much. So let me share with you how to do this fun technique. Now, I just purchased this, um, oh, I just got it, actually. This cute, real, oops, sorry about that glare. Whew, this cute bunny stamp, I mean punch. Okay, and he's really cute. And um, you can see on here um, the little bunny. Now, he does come with a coordinating stamp set. I did not purchase that, and now I'm wishing I did, but I didn't. Because if you do purchase them together, you save 10%. So what you want to do with that is you want to punch out a whole slew of, or die cut, or whatever you want to use. It doesn't have to be this bunny. It can be whatever. But because this was a new punch added to my collection, I wanted to use it. Okay, so I punched out a bunch of bunny heads. Okay, and then what I'm doing is I have my piece of cardstock and I'm using the small one for the um, the technique book and you're going to take your Tombow glue and I would recommend using the uh, mat to protect your surface, but um, well, you know, can't find that right now, so and I'm too busy look, playing with the technique. Okay, so you're just going to glue down your little punched out or um, if you want to use your big shot um, to die cut some images whatever works for you okay and I did do most of this ahead of time because I didn't think you'd want to sit here and watch me glue bunny heads onto a piece of paper 
So, um, okay, this one we're just going to need the top of the ears to fill in here. Oops. Okay. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to trim off these pieces. Now, I do recommend if you're going to do a bunch of these, save those little pieces because you can use them when you're filling in. So let me move all those aside. And here on the top here, I want to trim that. Okay. So well, that one's a little crooked. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so then when you're done, you'll have this, which this is cute um, to go ahead and use this on the front of a card. This would be really cute um, using any of our punch pieces and, you know, decorating it how you want. But um, we're going to go a step further. I'm going to make some room here because I want to bring in my big shot, which is on the floor. Okay. So um, I'm going to take my embossing folder, and when you go to do this, you want to make sure you are able to read the Sizzix and the Stampin' Up! Um, design. You can choose where you want to put this in your folder. Um, anywhere is good for me. And when you're running your folders through, you always want to run it through with the fold toward the inside. Okay. And we're just going to crank this through. And... When you open it up, there is your, let me move this out of the way, there is your embossed, well, your inset embossed image. Isn't that fun? Can you see? There we go. How fun is that? So then what I did is ahead of time, I punched out some bunnies, and I thought it'd be cute to, um, let me just use my fast fuse on here. Although it's probably be easier to use the Tombow. Never mind. We used my Tombow. And I thought I would just glue a little bunny on here. Just like that. Now if you want to, you can put some dimensionals there behind his ear. And then what I did is I stamped ahead of time a little Happy Easter. And the stamp set I used is a retired one because I'm waiting for another one to arrive. This was a Teeny Tiny Wishes. Okay, and this was an old retired set that I used for that. And I'm just going to take, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to glue this onto the back of our card for our technique book. And this would be so much fun um, coming up with all different, um, well, you can use all, all different types of punches or big shot items or, you know, or mix it up a little bit. That would be fun too. I would love to see what it is that you create. So if you do this technique, um, be sure to share it over on my Facebook page at Stampin' Sue Creates. I would love to see what you do. Okay. There we go with that. Let me just tidy up my mess a little bit. And there you have it. How fun is that? And set embossing. I love it. All right, let's put this into our technique book. We are really moving along here. And all right, let's see. We're going to put this in here. And this over here. Let me just fix it from the other side. Oh. And there we go. There is our inset embossing which was a lot of fun so i hope you're enjoying this if you are like i said please be sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up share this video with lots of your friends and um that helps me to increase my subscribers i'm working toward getting 2k subscribers which would be very exciting and when i do reach 2k i'm going to be doing a giveaway who knows maybe it'll be a technique book just never know. So be sure to share, like, thumbs up, and comment down below what you think. And um, anyhow, I'm going to head on off, finish up my other technique cards, because I am making a whole bunch of extra, and uh, get working on another technique for you. So have a super stampin' night, and I'll see you all back here again real soon. Bye-bye for now.